Prepping for Idiots 101 Within this commonsensical step-by-step -step guide, you will learn how to keep yourself alive if society ever collapses. Which it will because society's run by morons. Put down the video game controller and your smartphone, unless you're of course watching this video on your smartphone, and listen for 10 minutes as this information may save your life. As pointless as it may be in light of inevitable near-term human extinction. Here's the thing, someday you will die. The goal is to prevent that from happening anytime soon. Follow these steps and you may not die soon. People like yourself who are members of the intelligentsia are fully aware that preppers are delusional nutbags, hyper obsessed with their own mortality, and dumb enough to not fully subscribe to the notion that the same government that nickel and dimes you with regulation and taxation and gives you a speeding ticket on your way home from work after slaving for a long day to make them money would ever shit the bed when it comes to protecting you if society collapsed. Intelligent people in the age of impending economic implosion concern themselves with things like vanity, butt implants, and spending half a day and hundreds of dollars to go watch a bunch of idiots throw a ball around a field. I understand the difficulties and challenges that the current generation faces with regards to getting information on how to start prepping. It's not as if you have some magical device in your pocket which has access to all of the information in the world at any time. In order to understand how to survive if society collapses, we need to understand how you would survive right now. There's a few things that you need. Among these things are air, water, food, shelter, security, and medical supplies. One of the most important things you need is water. You need water to exist. You are in fact a living organism. Don't be deceived by your own fake ass shit. Even though 99% of you is fake, there is still a heart beating in there somewhere. Water is the main ingredient in Coca-Cola, coffee, and pumpkin spice lattes. Unfortunately, these things are not going to be available when the house of cards comes violently crashing down. The first challenge will be storing and purifying water. Go on Google and type in how do I purify water and be amazed at how this technology can be used for something beyond chronic masturbation and self-amusement. You will find hundreds of different methods to purify water and you will get bored immediately and go back to playing video games. In order to determine which type of food you should store, you are going to have to use your brain. We realize thinking is difficult, but if you can focus your attention on the matter for a few seconds, you realize that there's only a few primary things you need to take into consideration. How long will the food store? How nutritious is it? And whether or not it's fit for human consumption. But be careful when you project your current standards for what you eat into the dystopian future. The fact is, when you're not living the life of a pampered snowflake fancy boy, you'd be surprised at what you can ingest without vomiting. One key conclusion that you should come to on your own is that if the food requires refrigeration, you probably do not want to store it. This is because refrigeration requires a thing called electricity. Electricity comes through power lines to your house. This electricity is generated elsewhere. In the case of societal collapse, you likely will not have electricity. This means you will not have Google to tell you what to do. So use Google while you still have Google to tell you what to do. The next thing you're going to need is shelter. The reason why you need shelter is because outside kills you. Most animals have fur. Animals are stronger than you. They will not die if society collapses. You probably will because you are a pussy. The heat in your house comes from a magical place called somewhere that will stop working when the shit hits the fan. You will need to find a way to stay warm. Usually this requires a fuel source. When things burn, they make heat. That's where your heat comes from. Unfortunately, the gas station will be closed and shit hits the fan forever. You must simulate this effect with other materials that will be readily available in your immediate environment. You may be tempted to have a fire in your house. Warning, having a fire in your house will kill you. Do not have a fire in your house. It's important that you have at your disposal a piece of technology called a jacket that you probably haven't had to wear for many, many years due to only experiencing winter when going from your house to your vehicle. 
If you do own a jacket, it's probably a brand name thing you bought just to look cool. The great thing is it can also be used as a tool to prevent the life force from escaping your body. Get a good jacket. Next up is security. Believe it or not, you and everybody else around you is an animal. Yes, we are actually alive and we are not robots, even though it seems that way most of the time. When animals get desperate, they will do desperate things, and they will likely try to kill you for your stuff. It's important that you have a way to protect yourself. You must become proficient in firearms or hand-to-hand -hand combat, or just use basic street smarts to avoid sketchy situations. That's a skill you likely don't have sitting in your parents' basement playing video games for the last 20 years. And unfortunately, your Call of Duty skill set is not transferable to reality. Life is not a video game. There is no way in hell you can lug around 40 pounds of gear running around non-stop for hours on end without getting tired or stopping to drink some water. The next thing you need is medication. Believe it or not, in nature, there are no hospitals or doctors or nurses. If you get hurt, it's going to be up to you to deal with it. Unfortunately, the medication that you relied on to keep your ass alive while you made poor lifestyle choices doesn't grow on a mountainside. It requires multi-billion dollar big pharmaceutical companies with huge advertising budgets and inexorbitant profit margins. There are no labs in the forest, besides the roving packs of wild Labrador retrievers that will be hunting your ass for sustenance when the grid goes down. It's important to recognize also that if you smoke marijuana, the guy down the street that you get it from is probably going to be dead. This is because somebody is going to raid his house to get his marijuana. Just like any drug dealer who made their money by letting shady people come to their house while the grid was up and times were good and there were countless other opportunities to make an honest living, while well, those chickens are definitely going to come home to roost and shit hits the fan. So my advice to you is to get off the drugs and alcohol while you can, but you won't. So enjoy dying. Take a first aid course in the very least so you're familiar with the basics of administering medical care. We know this is not as fun as jerking off five times a day, but if you feel that your life is worth saving, which is questionable, learn how to patch yourself up when the cold reality of existence without technology slaps you in the face. The next thing you'll probably need is a bug out bag. If you still need advice on how to build a bug out bag after 10 years and 1 million videos later showing you how to do this very thing, you are a an idiot and are not going to survive anyway, so don't bother. If there ever was a first world problem, it would be how do I build a bug out bag? This is the result of our education system and the systemic dumbing down of the population so that we consume more stuff and question authority less. But I digress. Even though shit will never hit the fan because things are relatively peaceful right now, because that's how the world works, you would still be wise to prepare just in case the inevitable happen as a result of the inexorable crises humanity faces. It's also important to note that if there is a disruption in delivery of services from the power grid, it is going to be very dark at night. You cannot see in the dark. That is why you have lights in your house. Without electricity, the lights will not work. Lighting is going to be very important for your personal security and comfort. Get a good flashlight and don't rely on the one on your smartphone. To anybody who's still watching, which is the one guy who forgot to turn this off before he left the house, congratulations, you've wasted 10 minutes of your life relearning the obvious. Good luck in your pursuit to regain a mastery of things human beings have done naturally for thousands of years. And don't forget, if you found this video informative or useful, leave a trolling comment below, bashing the author, while secretly altering your perspective on preparing for Shit Hits the Fan. Make sure you go and watch the soul-enriching content on the YouTube trending feed, which absolutely plays no role in moving the human race towards extinction. No sarcasm intended. Thanks for watching. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca. Premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.